another episode of vlogmas can you believe that we're in video five like i'm really doing this thing what like, can i get uh... so as you see by the title of this video we are going to be doing something very 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 different and it's not what i'm used to hopefully this isn't a fail hopefully this is a success and yeah let's just get straight into the video so i'm gonna start reading off the list so the recipe calls for two thirds cup of all-purpose flour two teaspoon cream of tart one teaspoon of baking soda this calls for an unsalted stick of butter i am going to truly experiment i know it's going to sound crazy but i only have a salted stick of butter one and a half cups of sugar two eggs room temperature one teaspoon of vanilla extract then also because they are snickerdoodle cookies to make the cinnamon sugar coating we need a third cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon i have to get a little ghetto a little over my shit for this part because i couldn't find another bowl cream together the butter and the sugar and the eggs until it is well blended so i feel like automatically i should put the butter in the bowl so i'm gonna Drop that in there. That put it in barely softened, softened, whatever that means. So it's like barely soft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two and a half cups of sugar. One cup, drop that in there. Oh, one and a half, okay. Whew. These cookies was ready to be sweet. Got my half cup. And then the eggs. So it said a way, because the eggs are supposed to be room temperature, it said a way to make them room temperature is to put them in a warm bowl for like two minutes, and that's exactly what I did. Okay, this is what we're working with. I got a feeling this ain't gonna work. But this has a metal handle, so I think that'll be fine. So I did some digging and lo and behold, I found one, I found two, and I found the hand mixer. These cookies better be so good. What are you stuck for? okay so after i regained my consciousness again consciousness i was not knocked out after i regained my confidence again i am back i'm better than ever and we're here to make these cookies It says pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients, but I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna take my chances and pour the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and hopefully it turns out good. But this little tester that I did looks like cookie dough. It looks, it sounds and feels like cookie dough and it's not extra sticky, it's just perfect.
first batch. My oven was preheated to 350. Now I gotta wait eight to 10 minutes. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Y'all, they smell so good. Like they actually smell like sugar cookies. How much longer do I have on this? Three minutes. Y'all, it's time to take them out. Oh. Yeah, they're huge. <laughs> Don't mind that. All right, y'all. So I am done washing the dishes, and I just want to try like a really itsy bitsy tiny piece of the cookies I just made. There's no way I made. I'm, there's no way I made these. There's no way I made these. Oh, she got two cookies. Tightly sealed back up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Warm these up on about 10 seconds. Yep, yep, that's the best way to do it. The moment of truth. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes like a little cookie cake. Huh? Merry Christmas.